Awake already? I hope you've had a good rest after all you've been through. You might need it. We've got work to do tonight, so get up and get going to Tallenberg as soon as possible. You need to rouse Sir Divish and his men for the attack. We'll meet this evening at the Stronghold and settle up with that sly bastard. Sir, I lost all my things at Vranik, and I need some combat gear. Yes, lad, I know. Here's the key to the armory. Take whatever you need. You deserve it. I need to set off as soon as possible to give the Talmbergers the message, or they won't arrive in time to help us at Vranik. God save.
Can we do something about the price? Hmm. What do you say to this? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Very well. I agree. Sir, I bring an urgent message from my father, from Saradzik and Hanish. <laughs> I take it you've heard. What does your father want from me? 
I found out who's behind all the unrest in the region, and Father and Hanush have decided to put an end to it all. What? So who is responsible for all our recent troubles? You may have met him. Istvan Toth. No, I haven't met him. But Sir Radzik said he'd been here to visit before... before the raid. I don't suppose that's a coincidence. What kind of man is he? What is he after? He's in the service of King Sigismund, and he's fighting the nobility who support King Wenceslas. They've amassed quite a force at the old stronghold above Sasau, and they're planning to attack very soon. Father and Hanush have decided to move first and destroy him before he's prepared. Oh, for Christ's sake. When? And how? Tonight. They send word for you to muster your men and rendezvous with them at Vranjik. This is madness. Maybe it is. But I fear that Radzik and Hanish are right. The sooner we cure this pestilence, the better. Gather the men and make ready. We march tonight. Leave only as many as you must to guard the castle. Very well, sir. As you command. Will you be coming with us? Yes, sir. I have some scores to settle with them. to miss the show. You didn't expect me to leave all the glory to you. Never. We wouldn't dream of starting without you. What news? Did you parley with them? <laughs> we did. And what was the outcome? Not quite what we hoped for. Radzig wanted to go parley with them in person. Fortunately, I talked him out of it. <laughs> it seems that this will not be resolved without a battle. Bloody good thing, too. Finally, we'll have some proper entertainment in the countryside. Fortunately, my son here showed immense daring and made his way into the lion's den to spy on them. Tell us what you saw, lad. What do you want to know, exactly? Well, let's start with how well fortified they are. The outer palisade goes right around the whole camp. On a small hill inside it, there's a half-demolished farmhouse that's ringed by another palisade. That's where I was held prisoner. And that's where Toth's based. Him and his inner circle. Can you tell us how many tents there are and how they're arranged? There might be fifty, maybe three score. Most of them in the right-hand side of the camp. And the men? How many men strong are they? Quite a few. At least eighty. Huh. We don't number much more than that ourselves. We do outnumber them, though. Even if only by a few men. A and our men are well armed and disciplined. The foe, nothing but a rabble. From what I've seen, it's best to attack from our direction. How does it look from the other sides? The east side is all rocks so no hope of launching a major assault from there. On the other hand, that's the way I escaped. It's where they throw all their waste, 
The heap's already so high, it's almost to the top of the palisade. Now that is interesting. The ramparts are long. If there are as many of them as we think, they can hardly keep watch over the entire length. Attack with full force at the gate, and they won't have enough men at the rear. That's an excellent strategy. But then I'd expect no less from you. If we cause an enormous uproar at the same time, they won't know what's hit them. Uproar? You said they have tents there? Yes, sir. Well, if I'm not mistaken, tents usually burn rather well. And we have quite a few archers. <laughs> you don't do things by halves, Divish. So, I believe we have a plan. Robard will take ten men and sneak to the rear of the fortifications. There's an entry point, but you must remain hidden. I will do my best, sir. That shouldn't be too hard. They'll have other things to worry about. The rest of us will launch a frontal assault. Rain burning arrows on them and then attack. Those bastards won't know which way to turn. At that point, Robard and his squad will strike from the rear. I think it's a good plan. God be with you, my friends. We'll wipe those whore sons off the face of the earth. Listen up now! We are about to meet the rabble that have been trying to hurt us. Pillaging, killing, raping, and generally being a thorn in our side for long enough. They may be hiding behind a stockade, but they are still a pack of curs who are no match for men like you. And tonight, we are going to festoon these trees with corpses. First, we will set fire to their little hornet's nest, then we'll keep them busy by the gate, and when we've made it nice and hot for them, Sir Robard and his men will pounce on them from the rear, and we will hack them to pieces. Have you got it? Yes, sir! Good. Now, when we reach the ramparts, the archers will cover the men climbing it, and the men with the battering ram. Any of these fuckers foolish enough to stick his head outside the stockade is to lose it at once. Understood? Yes, sir! Glad to hear it. Now, let's do it! Forward! Archers, fire!
and flush out anyone left around the fence. Good enough keep up on us from behind. You men, go over there. Go with them. The rest of you, warm up and go to the top gate. Thank you. 
Where's that Hungarian bastard? Why isn't he here? Don't tell me no one was in command! It does rather look that way, Hanush. Henry, where's Toff? You said he was here. He definitely was, sir. I've got the cuts and bruises to show for it. We have to find out where he slithered off to. Look for clues. Anything that will tell us what he's doing. There's something lying there, isn't there? Sir, this was all I could find. A letter? What does it say, Ratzig? Alongside hunting, drinking and swordplay, you might find time for a little study, old man. In the courts of Prague, every Tom, Dick and Harry can read nowadays. Yes, well, here in the countryside, we don't give a tinker's curse about such things. Huh. That's what I've got a scribe for, anyway. Now, what does the damn thing say? It appears to be written by Toth, but it doesn't say to whom. It says, everything is going according to plan, and the castle should soon be taken. Castle? What castle? What does he need a castle for? Sir, we took this one alive. And it seems he's not just some ordinary spear carrier. Where's that rat Toth? Where did he go? Speak, damn you! <sighs> he's thwarted you again, hasn't he? <laughs> If you play your cards right, you might come out of this in one piece. Where is your lord? He was here yesterday, wasn't he? Come now, sir. We both know where I will end up. <laughs> My lord is gone. He took most of the men and left. Where is he gone? What is he planning? He writes here about taking some castle. Which castle? <laughs> oh, some nearby castle. Left completely unguarded. Now I wonder where it could be. <laughs> what are you saying, you horse son? Townberg. Did he go to Townberg? <laughs> You'll never get him. He'll never. Are you planning on sending him to some monastery to become a monk? I believe we have some work to do, Sir Divish, do we not? Mount up, gentlemen. We don't have any time to waste. Greetings. We... we were ambushed. We need assistance. We have wounded men here. Open the gate. The Lord be praised. Here! Come on! Lady Stephanie, I, I really don't think we should... My lady. Faster, man! Come on, faster! My men are gravely wounded. Without treatment, I'm afraid they won't live to see morning. Not to worry. We'll take care of them. 
my lady. You have my uttermost gratitude. May God reward you for your kindness. Every Christian should help his neighbor in his hour of need. True. Especially now, when treachery and deception surround us on all sides. Get out of the way! The devil lurks in the shadows. Come on! And one fears taking a guest into his house. Rat! Come out and fight like a man! <laughs> I don't think so. I like it better right here. But you'd rather hide behind my wife like some mangy whelp? I could just as easily cut her throat! I have hostages enough. And strong walls to protect me. Bring him here!
Radzig? What do you want, you viper? Let me think. Oh. Actually, there's nothing I want from you. Except maybe to see you all die. Fire! Burn it down! Christ. Uh, are you all right? Uh, I'll live. Oh. Whew. But I don't think I'll be wielding a sword for a while. Oh, we have men enough for sword wielding. A good lord is harder to come by. How the hell did they get Radzik? I didn't make it to the gate. He was charging against reinforcements from the castle. We have to save Sir Rab my father, somehow. And we have to save my wife and get our home back. My friend, I think you know as well as I, we have to lay siege. No! No! That is our last resort. We have to try all our other options. Sir, if a few men could scale the western wall after dark, maybe they could get inside, free the hostages, and open the gate. That is, if they're holding them in the courtyard, as we've always done. Well, that's a big if. What if they're seen and they can't raise the portcullis quietly? Sir Hanish, if we can save just one hostage... It's a perilous undertaking. Who would you send? I'll go. Then let us make ready. <laughs> <laughs> 